hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new you are welcome <laughs> thank you so much god bless you make sure you like subscribe and share i thank god for the platform he has given us not just to learn makeup but also to hear his word hallelujah okay so whatever you find yourself doing or whatever position you find yourself god expects you to use that platform to spread his good news to tell the world about him so if you're a believer and you haven't told someone about god i think you might be doing the wrong thing <laughs> so i want you to tell somebody about god today hallelujah so today i want to speak to you on fruitfulness in genesis chapter 9 verse 7 the bible says and you be fruitful and multiply and you so when but when the bible says and you it means a command god is commanding you and you be fruitful and multiply increase greatly on earth and multiply in it god is telling us here to go and multiply in christ jesus while you are multiplying you are expected to be fruitful no, don't just multiply be fruitful be fruitful in it be fruitful it was a command he gave us fruitfulness means both in childbirth in your business in all you do let there be fruitfulness nothing can die around me i am fruitful i am fruitful on every side the world will see god's fruitfulness in me hallelujah as a believer it is an error if you are not multiplying God gave you an order, a command to be fruitful. We know that there are obstacles of the devil to frustrate that movement, but God cannot send you forth without properly equipping you. So all you need to be fruitful is inside of you, and you can only awaken it by the word of God. Hallelujah. The word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates into your soul and spirit hallelujah it is able to take you from zero to hundred your fruitfulness your multiplication your sustenance lies in the word of god hallelujah all you need to function in life is in the word of god there is no other way if you must be rich and sustain it it has to be in the word of god the bible says that the word of god maketh rich and added no sorrow it has no sorrow so the word of God is the only thing that can make you rich. There is no other way. Hallelujah. If you're a makeup artist, you need the word of God to build you. As a makeup artist, it is the word of God that can build you. It is the word of God that can take you from that level. It's the word of God that can... Oh, I know what the word of God has done in my life. I know where I used to be. I know where the word of God has taken me to. I can brag in that in that word. If you can only make out time to study, if you can only make out time to commune with God, if you can only make out time, He will take you ahead. Don't think He's just doing makeup. There is more to makeup. The makeup industry is spiritual. We go out every day without knowing the clients you're going to do makeup for. Sometimes we leave early morning to go and do makeup. We leave as early as 4 a.m. As in, do you think that you can do all that by yourself? For you to be, don't you think that, that you can be a household name? Do you think it's just by, by painting face, feeding from hand to mouth? There is more in it. And the only way you can conquer, the only way that you can take over is by the word of God. If you can make out time for Jesus, if you can make out time for the word of God, you will see your makeup, as in your makeup skills will start changing. Because he will start telling you things. He will start telling you how to do it. He will start telling you, do it this way, do it that way. It is only by the word of God. Holy Spirit is real. Without the Holy Spirit, we can can't do we can't do much because the Holy Spirit searches the mind. Holy Spirit is the, is the only one that knows that knows the heart of people, that knows what your client wants. Sometimes this work can be crazy. A client will tell you I want this and end of the day they want something else. It's only the Holy Spirit that can give you the wisdom to know what to do at the right time. Hallelujah. So why did Jesus curse the victory? 
Jesus cursed the fig tree because the fig tree did not deliver what what it was meant to deliver and what it was meant to deliver was a fruit jesus was hungry and he needed something to eat so he expected that the tree was supposed to have fruit but the tree didn't have fruit so why was jesus expecting it to have fruit because when when god created the first adam like we all know they were in the garden of eden so in that garden that time there was nothing like sin there was nothing like death there was nothing like sickness there was nothing like disease there was nothing like decay fruits don't decay you can see a fruit will be there for 1000 years it will not decay because there was nothing like death until the falling of man so when man sinned against god that's when death came that was when sin came So sin brings about death, sin brings about disease, sin brings about sickness. But when you are in Christ, oh, when Jesus came, Jesus came with life. He is eternal life. And those who run to him will be saved. Because you have proclaimed the name of Jesus, because you have made him the Lord over your life, death are not permitted to be in you. (laughs) Nothing is supposed to die around you. You are meant to be fruitful. You are meant to multiply. Anything you lay your hand to do does not have any option than to be fruitful because you are not of this world you are of christ jesus the bible said we are of him your business is meant to be fruitful because we are in christ jesus it is not longer i that live but christ that lives in me so before the falling of man there was nothing like season if you want mango you eat mango if you want apple you eat apple there was nothing like season but <laughs> after man sinned against god they were not season they were not you, you see that you see now that mango has their season apple has their season tomato has their um, you know you know have their season but before the falling of man there was nothing like that so jesus came to the fig tree because he is without sin he is not of this world <laughs> there's nothing like seasons for him so Jesus was expressing the fig tree to give him fruit, not knowing that he was in the world of men, <laughs> a world of sin where there is season and time. So he cursed the fig tree. We are in Christ Jesus. We are not expected to have seasons. Nothing like this is my season. Nothing like next year, next year is somebody else's season. Every year is my season because I am in Christ Jesus. It doesn't matter what I am doing. That I'm painting face does not mean that I'm not supposed to have season. Every year is my season. I flourish like the seed of Lebanon. You are meant to flourish because you are in Christ Jesus. You are meant to flourish. You are meant to flourish. You are the pest setter. God has put you there to overtake. So the world is yours. The clients, the big clients, the top clients that are yours. I've come to tell you that you are fruitful. As long as you are in Christ Jesus, you are fruitful. You are meant to multiply. If you are not multiplying, today I pray the name of Jesus. Whatever that is holding you bound, be fruitful let your business be fruitful be fruitful in everything you do be fruitful in your business in the name of jesus see there is nothing like season in your life you will always be at the top you are the best in what you do you are the best in what to do. You always be at the top. Of your rights, there is no limitation. You are the best makeup artist. I don't know what you do, but begin to declare right now. Say, I am the best. I am the best. I am the best. I am the best. There is no season in my life. I will... I am multiplying, greatly multiplying. The Bible says in Genesis 9 verse 7, say, go and increase, greatly increase and multiply. Don't just, oh, <laughs> don't just increase, greatly increase, flourish. 
Be fruitful. Fruitfulness in your body. Fruitfulness in your marriage. You are not meant to be barren because, because you have the life of God. You have the life of God. You are the presence of God. You are his atmosphere. Anywhere you enter, they see the goodness of God in you. Anywhere you enter, they see the light of God in you. Oh, you can call me a makeup artist, but just know that I'm not just a makeup artist. I carry the presence of God. I carry his atmosphere. I carry his fire. I am not an ordinary makeup artist. I am changing the narrative. I am the best in what I do. I am the best. The best clients are mine. The top clients are mine. The top clients are mine. In the name of Jesus, I am making progress. I am successful. I am fruitful. The Lord is mindful of me. He is doing great things through me. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for this moment. Thank you because we are doing so well. Thank you because we are changing narrative. Thank you because from now, nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. God bless you. I really want to encourage you to make out time to study the word of God to pray for your business, make out time to fast, make out time to make declaration every morning before you step out. It's really important. Also, if you're looking for a church to attend, a Bible-believing church, you can. I can refer my church to you because I have seen the wondrous things the Lord has done in my life through, through my man of God. And I'm, I'm also, I want to introduce you to that same God. So my church is the Gifted Church, the Gifted House. Come and hear the undiluted word of God. You can join us on live every midweek service on Wednesday from 5 to 8 p.m. And on Sundays, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.